Now that we have laid the foundations of our basic understanding of MATLAB, let's jump into using what we've learned so far into writing more meaningful codes and data visualization and becoming more professional in using this software. So I'm going to start a script and start that with clear, close all, and CLC. I want to type or create a sinusoidal uh, function. And for that, I need a period. So I'm going to call it t is equal to two seconds. So this is going to be period is equal to two seconds. Now I want to create an array for time. I'm going to call it the lowercase t and use a function called linspace, which means create a linear space between the initial and the last very number with n number of uh, steps. So I'm going to go from 0 to say 5 seconds and create 500 samples. Or I actually like to use 501 because then it gives me a better division between the initial and the uh, final value. And then x, I want it to be assigned, but let's actually create a function or a variable called f for frequency. Let's call it, um, um, well, actually f is 1 over 2, so I don't really need to call that, okay? So x becomes sine of uh, 2 times pi times t divided by the capital T. So if I just run this, you can see that a t and an x is created. And now what I can do is actually use the plot command to plot this x versus t. The simplest way, the easiest way is to type plot t for the horizontal axis and x is for the vertical axis. Just close the parentheses. As simple as that, the plot function will work. And I'll have, oops, I did this part, which is not, I didn't want to resize it. So it shows me a sinusoidal wave. Its uh, period is two, so it repeats itself two times and in a half time because I have five seconds in my uh, uh, script or in my, in my data, and so it repeats two and a half times. We can actually work with the plot command. So the first thing I do is, let's say I want to determine the size of my figure. So I create a figure and in there I say position, which means where I want the uh, figure show on the screen, and then I give an array there. The first two numbers in this array, which has which needs to have four numbers in a single row, are the beginning or the corner, uh, bottom left corner of the uh, the figure. So I'm going to say at 100 pixel and 100 pixel. And the next two numbers are the length and height of the figure. So let's say I want to make it 800 pixels long and 600 pixels high. So if I just run this, um, so something happened. Maybe I didn't, yeah, I didn't type this properly. Now if I do it, it creates something like there. Maybe I should bring it a little bit higher because that 100 is not actually very good. So make it 150 and 150 so that it's looking better. Not yet, but it's okay. We don't really need that. So it creates that. I don't actually like the height, so I want to make it a little bit smaller in the height. So this looks better for me. Um, now what I want to do is to type the X label and Y label. I want to make sure that this plot looks something to or means something to whoever is looking at it. So I say X label and I give a value to that time seconds. And the Y label, let's say, for example, this is displacement, not really anything important. So this for displacements and the unit is meters. And the next thing I want to do is to put the grids on so that if I want to look at something on the, on the plot, 
it's easier to find out where it is. So I just type grid space on. So let's see what happens so far. If I move this back, move this up a little bit, you can see display and time are showing up. And I also have a grid in my, um, in my plot. The next thing is I want to make the, um, the fonts of the plot more readable. Essentially, if I want to use this plot um, as a figure in my journal publication, I want to make sure that the numbers and the text in my plot actually mean something or are, are readable. So I say set GCA. GCA means everything in the... Um, so before I actually type this, let me explain what GCA is. GCA is, relates to whatever is inside in here, uh, the fonts, I can change the font weight, the font size, um, um, stuff like that I can change, it's, uh, it's done with the GCA. So I can say set GCA font size and let's make it 12 and set GCA font weight and let's make it bold. Next I want to put a title in my um, plot so make sure that uh, there's a little description about what's what this plot is showing. So I'm just going to say this is a title because I don't really know what to talk about here or I don't, this is just an example and if I click this or run this, you see that first of all the plots are or, or the text are in bold and uh, they're bigger and there's also a title there. What if I want to change the size and also the color of this uh, uh, plot? What I can do is come here in the plot command and say hey instead of doing that say line width and change it to 1.5. So it's going to be a little bit uh, thicker. And here I can actually say in a parentheses, make it a red line. So if I run this now, see that it's actually a little bit um, thicker, the line, and the color changed to red. I can also say instead of making it a solid line, make it a um, dashed line. So if I run this, now it's a dashed line. There are so many um, styles that you can pick for plots and MATLAB. And you can actually do, if I come to help plot, there's a ton of information that I can uh, read and incorporate in my plot. So these are the colors, these are some of the uh, styles you could use in your plots. For example, I use this dash right now. I could also do dash dot or dots or solid or no line. Um, and um, yeah, those stuff that could actually help with my plot look better. So if I write again, I have this plot and now I want to save this plot so that I can reuse it. MATLAB has a uh, uh, previous, has, has a uh, default basically format for the figures which is good to save your figures in that format. If I come here click save I can this window shows up and I can save it as .fig but what I want to do actually is to show you how to save it in the code. I'm going to say save fig and do just give a file name so plot01.fig and if I do this and I close that, if I come to here, you see that there should be something plot. Here it is. Plot01.fig is showed up in here. I, if I double click on this, it will show up. And it's good because uh, you save your figures in the fig format and then you can come back here and change stuff as you need it. For example, I don't like this title. I double click it and say change the let me remove that change the title and 
just click somewhere and now it's a different figure I can save it and if I double click on that you see that the title has changed and then so it's better to save your figures in fake file so if you need to modify it later for journal publications or something that changed for example if I don't want to have this like that if I can come here and change the color from that to let's say um, when this window shows up into blue and OK it and then save it and it shows up. So this is basically some of the stuff that we can do with plotting some data and data visualiz visualization in MATLAB. I'll go more in detail in upcoming videos.